It's time for the show that brings the magic right to your speakers. Ears up! Hey, everybody, welcome back. I'm contorting around my soundboard. But it's okay, because it's all worth it. It's all worth it, everybody. Life is worth it. Life is worth it, Terry. Most of the time, yeah. Most of the time, it is worth it. Uh, this is the Ears Up Podcast, and uh, we are ready to talk to you, my friends, about uh, pretty much our last trip, Taryn and I's last trip. We went to Disneyland for New Year's, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. Uh, and we mainly got suckered in, uh, lured in, I should say, by um, by Disney and their, their whole thing about, oh, hey, if you want to come and party with the <laughs> Tower of Terror, uh, why don't you come on and do that? Pay 95 bucks. Yep. And come on and do it. And so we're dumb. And we're like, hey, you know what we should do? <laughs> Unexpected trip to Disneyland a month after our, our annual passports uh, Well, and see, this expired. is this is why um, Jason and I probably shouldn't be married. Because all he did was he called. Thank you. Stop. Okay. Uh, he called. I was at work. And he called. And he goes, hey, there's, a, there's this Tower of Terror party. It's at Disneyland. It's $95 each. And I go, huh, when is that? Uh, the 31st or the 1st. Oh, okay. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah. Like, there's no Let's argument, go. and that's the problem. <laughs> like, there needs to be somebody else who's like, that's stupid. Like, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It's a lot you of guys money. You should run all of your trips through me. Yeah, because we didn't have passes. Yeah. Like, we don't have passes. Like, it's not, it was stupid. It was a bad idea. I was, t- <laughs> I was going to say run it through me, but I'd be like, yeah, go. Take me. Let's yeah. go. Well, and all it took was like, well, that would be good content for the show, so I, I guess we should do it. Guys, yeah. that's $200 on top of your tickets into the park. Yeah. We're you, stupid. Yeah. You, you dumb. <laughs> well, for what, real. what Taryn doesn't know is I was already halfway through buying them. <laughs> uh, just going to click the uh, just, order. Right? Yeah. That's it. It's yeah. like, we're holding your tickets for five minutes. Hey, guess what, Darren? Why don't you call me back? <laughs> um, no, it was... <clears throat> so anyway, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, for now, you can listen to us, uh, iTunes, tune in, all those kind of places. Um, uh, rate us on iTunes, please. Um, do all that kind of fun stuff and, uh, you know, all that kind of nonsense. Go on social media. Join us. Follow us. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, p- possibly still. I don't know. Yep. Are we still doing that? We are. All right. That's good news. Um, any feedback goes to Taryn at earsup-podcast.com. Taryn, how do you spell your name, my friend? T-E-R-R-E-N-C-E. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, at Ears Up Podcast, you can say hi Hello. to Bev. And uh, anything else comes to me, Jason, at earsup-podcast.com. Um, and again, you know, look, look, my email screwed up. So if you sent in some email beforehand, um, I, I didn't get it to you in time and, um, I, I responded to everybody. It's totally fine. Um, but it won't happen again. So feel free to go ahead and email in email to your heart's content. Everything's okay. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can support us through Amazon. Do all your shopping on uh, the Amazon link from our homepage. You can do a reoccurring PayPal donation if that's your jam. Uh, you can buy Coveyors. Go to getcoveyors.com and uh, cover up your Mickey Mouse hat, would you? Uh, but also, more importantly, we've started a Patreon account. You can go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. The dot com slash ears up and there you sign up it's a monthly thing you sign up for one month uh you send us money via patreon and we send you stuff and there's a bunch of tiers uh we talked about it on the last show uh probably talk about it forever uh but go ahead and sign up at any level you want we'll send you some stuff right now uh it's pretty cool i'm having a good time doing it it's taken us a little bit to kind of figure out the timing on all this kind of stuff but uh hey baby we're getting there we're getting there, and uh, and look, don't pretend that you don't know that this show kind of has some hiccups. <laughs> that's just the way. That's just the way life goes, man. That's live radio. That's all it is. Um, okay, so Taryn, let's do some feedback, huh? Okie dokie. Uh, the first one we've got is from Dion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, it's been a while, and I'm writing this on the go with the latest episode um, in my ear. Your "It's Not a Trip to Disneyland Without." So much to relate in this episode. My pass expired too, and there's no renewal on my part either. Uh, Mostly because I just feel a lack of value that I can't exactly put my finger on. And this isn't a moaning male, so moving on. The other reason is living in Africa. Ha. 
<laughs> That'll do it. Whoa. That'll do it. <laughs> Any, anyhow, uh, what inspired this email is Taryn's It's Not Disneyland Without Point about Main Street. It's definitely something that happens to me on each visit. A, bewilder- a bewildering sense of introspection, thinking about life and love and the, the wider universe with an almost goose pimply depth. Love it. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I think yeah. he's been talking to Jeremy. Yeah, no, but he's getting it from what I said. I feel the same way. Yeah. Uh, though sometimes it's uh, even tear-inducing. Terrence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, so grateful for this show. You guys touch my heart with uh, your shared experiences, but mostly you tickle my soul with such fun banter and humor. Nice. Thanks for making us laugh, and thanks for keeping us in the parks until we can actually be there. Also, congrats on the future, on the further-than-pending patent. Smiles from Dion. Dion, in fact, we are now... Actually patented. That's wow. right. We have our patent for Cove We are truly yes. patented. Getcoveers.com. And if anyone wants to buy the company, <laughs> <laughs> real cheap. It's real cheap. $100. Well, not that cheap. That's <laughs> yeah, true. Um, this next one... Um, Well, I'll just start. Uh, Hello again, Ears Up team. It amazes me how even a second or third listen to a podcast can still keep me engaged and, and entertained. I call your show Perfectly Imperfect. I've been to Disneyland about... F- That's pretty much yes. us. Oh, yeah. Yes. Accurate. Yeah. 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 At least it's half of it. That us. should be our new tagline. Here's a podcast. Perfectly, Perfectly imperfect. imperfect. <laughs> um, I've been to Disneyland about five times in the past year. I live in Atlanta. By the way... Dang! Yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> Five times in the last year. Five times, yeah. in the, and it's only At, it's only the second week of January. Hot yeah. Atlanta. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> right? Um, that's expensive. Yeah, that's that's pretty good. That's dedication. Um, but he's only been there once since I started listening to your show in late June. Uh, it made that visit so much more complete. All of the little details I had forgotten and or learned from your show made it feel like the first time. My brother may not agree that all the various facts about Disneyland that I learned from the new from my new besties on the radio are the coolest, but we mutually agreed that day at Disneyland was, was one of, if not the best in our collective memory. I attribute that to the depth of the details of the visit, so thanks for that. Oh, hey, man, you're That's welcome. Awesome. Yeah. That's Thank cool. You. Yeah. That's a really big compliment, it I is. think. Um, so he goes on, I have a meeting at Disneyland with engineering foods, food safety and facilities to pitch the idea of a threshold drain for any possible Mose Eisley themed buildings in Star Wars land that reads no droids. So this is a, <laughs> oh, a drainage okay, system yeah. on the bottom okay. and it'll, it'll read Don't out no droids. in no the metal, no droids. Right. I'm beginning to agree with Jason. Star Wars land doesn't belong at Disneyland. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> it abs- thank you very much. <laughs> It absolutely belongs at Disney's Hollywood Studios and even DCA to some extent. But the sheer scale of that land is going to consume the park. This is based on construction project and just how massive it appears. Yeah. However, the geographic location in Disneyland makes perfect sense. It is about things that happened long ago and it's and it is a space fantasy. What better place than between Fantasyland, a land of fantasy, and Frontierland happened a long time ago? No, you're just what's this guy's name? <laughs> I don't I don't have you're it. Stretch. <laughs> Jimmy. Jimmy, no, you're wrong, bro. Uh, you were right at first, but now you're trying to be you're trying to be too too middle of the road. Uh, it doesn't belong, and because also, I mean, you were right. Like the scale of it is huge, and just think about the crowd movement. It's just gonna pour through there, yeah. and it's it's gonna it's gonna be a mess. I mean, it's gonna be a total wreck. Uh, I was right. Thank you. Okay. Um. Okay. Thank you. Continue. Uh, He goes on. So, in short, you guys are the best. He disagrees now. (laughs) (laughs) Probably. Um, Thanks, Jimmy. You three are the best. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Me, me, Terrence, and me. Us three. Right. (laughs) So, in short, you guys are the best, and despite the fact that annual passes are not being renewed and your visits are becoming less frequent as a result, I hope you continue the great work. And if there's anything I may be able to add or contribute, I'd be very interested. I could be the all-time rebuttal guy for all nonsense that Blobber spouts. (gasps) Ouch. (laughs) Uh, No park hopper at Disney World. I mean, come on. Right. Um, right? <laughs> yeah, even I have to disagree with Blobber on that one. That was a dumb move, Blobber. You should have you should have been in the chat the last episode. Oh really? Man. Yeah, what happened? Off on Debate him. central. Yeah. Yeah. People are mad at Blobber for that opinion. Uh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. No. Well. Uh PS. Fact of the show. Pina colada Starburst tastes exactly like Tubal Dole Whip. You're welcome. Thanks again, or Jimmy. Dole Whip tastes like Starburst candy. <laughs> that that could be the case. <laughs> You never know. That's what I hear. Because um, <laughs> the other way around, if Starburst tastes like Dole Whip, that's good. But if Dole Whip tastes like Starburst, that's bad. 
if Dolop because, because Dolop was, was there first. No, because it's like because you don't want to be because to me the drink is too sweet and too sugary okay. and too artificial, okay. which is uh, what it is. Uh, but Starburst trying to be artificial by replicating something that right, you know what I mean? Yes, it exists in the world. Makes sense. Thank you. Okay, gotcha. Okay. That was it. All right. Okay, great. I don't know. Good I think job, so. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you very much. So, yes. Okay. Here's the show, everybody. We have some Disney news. It's a whole thing, too. Uh, so, Taryn and I, we decided to spend our year at uh, New Year's at Disneyland um, doing our thing, man, doing this weird uh, Tower of Terror thing. So, we get down there. We're very nervous. And, and, <laughs> and we're very nervous about the crowds. And, and you heard us on the, uh, a couple shows ago. Uh, Bev said, like, don't go or forget about it or whatever it was right. when yeah. you looked it up Just on the, the, on the, the times. thing said. Yeah. yeah. It, there was kind of nobody really there. It was pretty light but it was also raining so okay. yeah, so here's the thing so we, we went down and kind of hung out for a little bit and didn't really take it too seriously i think because you know we were going to be there the entire day sunday didn't plan on going on a ride honestly because okay. i was like this there's no way okay. yeah and we actually okay. hit a few rides pretty early we hit on four in our yeah. first two hours Wow, I was shocked. Yeah, there weren't that many people there. It was, it was, it was pretty cool. I was, I was pretty stoked about what it. What time is this? Where you guys were walking? It was in? about. We got in the park at four thirty. Okay. We hit a lot of traffic. Yeah. Oh down. yeah, I remember. Okay, so yeah, we got in the park accident. about four thirty. Four thirty, raining mm. and pretty much empty. You said on New Year's Eve. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't say empty, but it was raining and like I think. From pictures I had seen in the past on New Year's, like people were setting up blankets on Main Street. Everyone's right. hanging out on Main Makes Street, sense, waiting yeah. all day long. Nothing. Wow. I mean, it was okay. it was your typical like you know kind of holiday crowd, but a little bit lighter than a holiday crowd. Okay. I was expecting just wall to wall people right, just right. pouring down Main Street. There was that. there was really none of that. Okay. So that was kind of cool. It did get a little busier as the night progressed because mm-hmm. everyone kind of wanted to be in the park. Okay. Uh, we made uh, reservations for dinner at Steakhouse 55 nice. that night, which is something we've never done before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, and we wanted to experience it. We're like, well, you know, why not again? Hey, why don't we do this thing that we've never done? I love it. <laughs> Sounds cheap. Yeah, so we didn't stay in the park the whole night. We went to Steakhouse 55, uh, which, in, by the way, in case you don't know where it is, <laughs> we walked all... It's 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 it, Go like you're going to Goofy's Kitchen. Mm-hmm. Walk into the same door as Goofy's Kitchen, because it's literally right next yeah, door. Yeah, so much though that it's, so much so that it's separated by a curtain. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It, it's Goofy's really? kitchen on the left, right. and there's a curtain. So you <laughs> like the kiosk to check in at Goofy's kitchen is to the left. There's yeah. a curtain, and then to the right, you check Steakhouse in at Steakhouse 55. 55. So it's before you get I to the like lobby where the what? you pay yeah. it warrants more than a curtain. I agree. Uh-huh. So you walk into Agreed. the sign where it says Convention Center. Right. Right. Literally, okay, there's signs everywhere, right, across, like, the Disneyland Hotel and all that kind of stuff, but Steakhouse 55 this way. Once you get in the general area of Steakhouse 55, all those signs disappear. Yeah, we walked around, and we were like, where's the next sign? I have no idea. It took us longer to find it than it did to get a drink. (laughs) Yeah, it was pretty weird, man. But you walk in, and it's very much like... um, like a, I don't know, a airport lobby. Or it just was weird. It's yeah. like this big kind of hall, uh, this big open space where the restrooms are. And then it's Goofy's Kitchen, like I said. It's Take Us 55. They have a bar. It looks nice. Right. But it's like this carpet, and then it hits the, like... Um, Mass produced tile. It's just this weird yeah. cream tile of like yeah. the the flooring of a convention and center. And they have the um, the uh, Autopia card. The yeah. Autopia card. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know what you're about, yeah. So I was like, okay, this is weird. Put put a door. Put yeah. a glass yeah. door right. or something because you 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 go into the restaurant to feel kind of upscale. Right. That's why it's designed that way. Right. We did not feel no. That way. It felt like we walked into a mall restaurant. It was a mall was like, restaurant. Yeah, oh. exactly, exactly. So that was but, that was real weird. Um, that was just the lobby, though. It was just a lobby. Once we got to our table, once we were taken back to our table, you're taken through this hallway, and then you're in the restaurant, really. Yeah, and then it's completely different. It's like a grand dining room. It, it okay. looks, it's like a lot of like cream color and darker wood, uh, very elegant, almost yeah. like Carthay Lounge, mm-hmm. but but maybe more detailed. I more guess more Hollywood, less Disney. Yeah, I think. Oh, okay. okay. More, yeah, there was a, there was like the photos that you see in Carthay. If you replaced those with like. Marilyn Monroe, and then some old guy at the Emmys that I've never seen. Like, I, like Red Skeleton was up there, like like old like old Hollywood. Like old Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, there was a picture right across the. And they're, they're huge. They're huge. There's okay. a picture right across the way of these two kids, um, like eating spaghetti. <laughs> 
And it was like the most nauseating, <laughs> off-putting photo I've ever seen <laughs> of people eating. It was like, I get it. They're, you know, your kids eating. Right. Uh, it, was, it was just, I was like, that kind of grosses me out. Okay. Okay. Anyway, but they had uh, they had a bunch of balloons blown up, and they were just kind of floating on the ceiling. It was really cool so, looking, actually. Like okay. they had it decorated pretty nice for like in a weird, like elegant way that I was really not expecting at all. Like yeah. gold and black and silver balloons, and they're just all oh. hanging. Giant ones, small ones, like wavy ones, just tons of balloons everywhere. It's like gold, gold, black, and silver, but then it's like a um, like a velvety blue and cream theme for everything else for 55 or what's the not blue but like like not just blue. darker wood okay yeah and like a cream thing yeah for okay. sure yeah okay low lit it was cool it's sort of i mean i liked it it was cool it was it's kind of like carthay but but just a little a little different a little more cozy okay mm-hmm. yeah okay um the prices were a little bit a little bit high but not what i considered super high uh what did i get i even forgot what i got you dude. got a like aged steak or something no it wasn't aged steak i think it was a ribeye Okay, you yeah. got a ribeye then. Uh, okay. It was delicious. So the okay. food, food was, was great. great. Like okay. The, the okay, here's the thing, the sal- uh, he got a salad and I got a soup, both amazing. Like the starters, amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, when's the last time you had an amazing salad? Yeah, yeah. I never. It was really good, man. It was good. Yeah. Um, the then we got the way that they do it is you get your entree is basically meat. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you get your sides separate. And okay. you cut your, it, like it's intended cart. to like share your sides mm-hmm. with the table, family style. So we each got a meat and then we got two sides to share. Mm-hmm. Way too much food. Really? Like so much food that it was about, like we could have got half the amount of food and had half the bill. It was, that was the only bummer is I wish I had mm-hmm. known that going in. So anybody mm-hmm. going, like as hungry as you are, their bread is amazing. We went through the entire loaf. So that'll fill you up. But like you can share a piece of meat because also the meat, huge. We both had to leave half of ours. Half of our steak. It was really depressing. It was it was delicious food. Um, I had this uh, asparagus. They had asparagus with hollandaise sauce over I've had it. That oh, before. nice! It's weird. He didn't like Not it. There. I didn't like it because the asparagus they had it was seriously like sharpie markers or bigger than they were like the fattest. <laughs> the fat huge. asparagus. They're yeah. huge, and I don't understand how you can get asparagus that big. And it was to <laughs> yeah. the point where it wasn't. It tasted more like grass. It wasn't very flavorful. Really, I didn't like it. And then the hollandaise sauce. But by the time it comes out, and by the time I I approach it and eat it the hollandaise sauce has more congealed yes. than is so it's now jello rather than sauce and it just it was not a very good experience uh, for that way so stay away from the asparagus <laughs> and i was trying to be healthy right i was like right. okay get a hollandaise veg sauce is never the, the no. route you it's go when you're trying to be well, but i but i didn't well yeah you're right <laughs> i love right. asparagus i actually had asparagus and holiday hollandaise sauce somewhere else but and it was a weird thing like i don't I know i liked it but yeah, I'm sorry. I think that you just also don't like hollandaise, so. Yeah, probably not. So that was the thing. We also got the baked potato, which was strange. I didn't like the baked potato. The baked potato, it sounds weird because we're just sitting here talking about what we ate. It yeah. feels stupid, no, but, there's more to but it's this interesting, yeah. Um, it's it was First, it came out with like a little dollop of topping on it, and that was it. It was It's a fat baked potato. Right. I like a lot more topping, sour right. cream and cheese with my baked potato. Yeah. Right. It was just a bloop. And so you're kind of, it's more starch, more dry starch, but it was like, it was like the casing that it was in was its own private heater because it, that shit stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bleep that out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sorry, no. kid. <laughs> it's all good. Go. Yeah. Um, that stuff was so hot. It was so hard to eat until I was halfway done with my food. It was, huh. and I like opened it and cut it up, and, and it was just so it was, friggin' hot. Was it just the skin, was was it, like or this. was it in like something like a tinfoil kind of a thing? No, just I forget. The skin? Actually, I don't remember. But it was it was piping hot. I wow. think it maybe it was had great. I, I actually loved okay. that it was so hot the was whole it time. Like the salt crusted kind. No, no, because I hate this. Yeah, no, no. I thought it was okay. Um, I think that they had actually mixed stuff in it, which is why there wasn't a lot on top. But mm. either way, th- it was kind of the wrong cheese. Like, you need cheddar cheese. Come on. Like, you they, need they, sharp they, cheddar. They I tried think they to had get like... fancy. It was some cheese you'd never heard of. It starts right. with a G or something. I don't know. It was, <laughs> some it, cheese you've it, never heard of. So I would say <laughs> the sides, share yeah. one. Also, they're not going to be the best part of your meal. The no. meat was amazing. The, the bread great. was amazing. And the starters were great. 
Okay. Yeah. So I, I recommend Steakhouse 55. Yeah. I think it was okay. a cool experience, and I'm glad that we went. I don't necessarily need to go again. I would probably rather eat at Carthay because there's more on the menu that I like at Carthay. Okay. Um, sense, you yeah. know, like the firecracker duck wings yeah. and, duck and wings. the little things and whatever, yeah. like the, the cheese balls, or the bread balls, whatever they yeah. are. Yeah. Um, those were great, and I'm sure the steak is, is fine because I think it's the same chef or I whatever. I think it is the same. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, that's Steakhouse 55. So we did it. Okay. We did the thing, right? Okay, then what? So we get out. It's probably like 10 o'clock or so, and I'm like, well, what do you want to do? It's probably going to be really busy, and the whole reason we go down there is so we can be in Disneyland at New Year's Eve. Right. On New Year's, right? Well, I kind of would just be happy at Trader Sam's if you want to go to Trader Sam's. But again, we're assuming Trader Sam's is going to be packed, be lying packed, around the right? place. Like, yeah. So I'm know. like, okay, let's go. Well, you guys are right there. We're yeah. right there. Yeah. So instead of doing the thing that we came down to do, we're like, well, let's just check it out. And so we ended up waiting for maybe five minutes for a table. Yeah. Really? Table pops up. There was... All, uh, there was there were people outside on the patio. It was freezing, but it was mm-hmm. freezing. Right. I mean Anaheim freezing. And um, it's like seventy eight. Yeah. <laughs> exactly yeah. right. Yeah. I had I had a light wrap on. It was, right. Exactly. Um, and so we kind of walk in, and all the tables are full, but no one's really waiting for a table. Or there was one of the couple anyway. Um, so this table for four opens up. We we grab it. We're two people. Remember that time I told that story about when I was at Carthay and I we had two separate people approach yes. us to sit with us? Yes. Happened again. <laughs> really? Yeah. Except it was a little more aggressive. Guy wanted to take Angry. me out and fight me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> the guy comes over, he's like <clears throat> he's like, um, Hey, are, oh, oh, are those seats actually being used? Uh no, not really, but you know, we're you know, he's like, "Would you mind if my wife and but I sit here with you?" This is also eleven forty-five, and, and I'm on like, "New Year's Eve." <laughs> and I'm, like, wait, a guy has to spend New Year's <laughs> Eve with you. Exactly. You say no, and he wants to fight you. Yeah. It get, it, it, yes. Oh, sorry. In a nutshell. Gets, sorry. So he, I'm like, he's like, can, "Can can my can my wife and I sit there with you?" And I go, "Well, no, I mean, no, I'm kind of just enjoying the time with my wife." And uh, and he's like, "Oh, come on, we're fun." And I go. <laughs> And I go, and he's smiling, and I'm I'm smiling back. I'm not right. like you know giving him the stink eye. I go, well, I'm not actually looking for fun. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Like I'm not. I don't want fun or whatever I said to him. Right. And he's like, but come on, we have nowhere to go. And I'm like, I'm I'm sorry. This is how I sound. Like, I'm I'm sorry. Clearly uncomfortable. Right. Clearly not being aggressive. But 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 I don't want you to sit with me. I'm Here, I'm sorry. Here's the hint. Right. Take it. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. And he goes, you know what? You're a Whoa! D word. He called me a D word. <laughs> yep. He called me a D. And I go, and I laugh, and I go, ha, you're the thing you just called. I go, you're a D. <laughs> and he goes, do you want to come outside and tell me how much of a D I am? And I go, ha, okay, I all right. I just told you inside. <laughs> right. I had to repeat it outside. The story so, is making me uncomfortable. Dude, so he leaves. Imagine me. <laughs> yeah, so he leaves. Yeah, she didn't stand up for me at all. I can't. Come on, Taryn. <laughs> what Fight am I supposed battles. to say? Fight his battles. So, so he leaves, and Personal I'm like, wife. that was weird, <laughs> right? Right? <laughs> and then he comes back in two minutes later and gets a table. So he's it, just, it's, it's like, it, you don't What under- in the world? Right. He didn't want to wait. <laughs> anyway. So then he gets, then it's New Year's and they hand out Martinelli's apple juice in the okay. in the bar. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. cool, but it, it tasted like it was 10 years old. Oh yeah. It was it, horrible. Yeah. We like, didn't I finish like him. Martinelli's. They were gross. <laughs> it was bad. But One they, sip. They handed out that and um, like, you know, the really cheap. Wait. Yeah. You guys spend a hundred dollars on each ticket to go to the thing, the and you know, no, 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 the thing. No, this is that's the next day. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. two day park harbor. Sorry, sorry, I was that's confused. Right. <laughs> uh, so they hand out Martinelli's and that and like Martinelli's, okay. The right aged, yeah, yeah aged, yes. <laughs> yeah. gross. Um, and the um, you know those really cheap like Hawaiian lays. They're like like the little plastic. bunches yeah. of plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they handed everybody out that and like uh, these like At fake New Year's top hats. Trader yeah. Sam. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know how much money they make in a given night? <laughs> yeah. Wow. It's okay. okay. I mean, it was cute. They but could they have done nothing. Out. Yeah. Okay. They, could, they okay. could have done nothing. They okay. handed stuff out. Okay. Okay. So that was cool and like noisemakers and whatever. Right. And. Um, so, you know, New Year's hits, they don't really do a countdown. I think they forgot. They like, forgot. It was kind of awkward because all they were <laughs> in the like. Middle, it's, making a crack of toe. And they're like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> seriously. Like, somebody was like, oh, it's 30 seconds till. And then, like, 
I like went to look at my phone and it was midnight and the table next to us is like one more minute and I'm like what just oh everyone synchronized like, watches it was really like I'm a big New Year's person and I really like the countdown so I was kind of like Oh, it sucks. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah, I was okay. I was expecting like a thing, which is why. So we yes. so beforehand, back yes. up a little bit. We were like, well, where should we go? Main Street's going to be packed. Yeah, California Adventure's probably going to be packed. Also, yeah. Trader Sam's might not be that packed, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. Right, right. <laughs> And you know, and, and we were expecting some thing, some sort of pageantry right. of the thing, right? right. Didn't get it. Yeah, no. Like That's surprising. I don't know weird. what was, it was going a little on. Weird. Okay. So then, uh, half the place clears out. That guy. <laughs> who wanted to fight me goes and sits at the bar and he's eyeballing me. Yes, oh, he for like half an hour. <laughs> oh wow! And so finally we're like, okay, it's twelve thirty. Let's go back to the park. And yeah. we just got up and left. It was very Why weird. Was the park open. Uh, it was open two. till two. Oh. Okay. So we go through, and you know, so they've moved the check, the the yes. security, yes. right? Uh, which was kind of cool. So we just kind of walked through uh, right before Earl Sandwich, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, by the Disneyland Hotel. Kind of breezed through the um, the whole downtown Disney was still sort of clearing out. They had a band and whatever, and that was right. kind of cool. We heard some of the fireworks. Okay. Uh, earlier, okay. and that was neat. Um, and we make it to the park, and it's it was kind of nice not to wait in any security line. Mm-hmm. Park's almost empty. I would say it's probably 20% full. There was nobody there. It was no like one. walk what on rides world? all over the place. It was a, it was awesome. Dude. So, we went on mansion, I think. Mm-hmm. We did something else and a uh, uh, big thunder we did. Yep. And then we're like, "Hey, let's go check out Peter Pan." Mm-hmm. No. It was a half hour wait for Peter Pan. That's surprising, right? Yeah. So, we ki- we went got wow. in line at 11 at, at 1:30. And finally rode, we've never been able to ride Peter Pan because I refuse to wait an hour for that <laughs> right. ride. I no, refuse I to do it. completely agree with you, yeah. Waited it, and then it was 2.08 by the time we got out of, the, out of there. And we're like, okay, let's go home. Yeah, there was it, nobody it was in the world. park. That's insane. Right. It was so- It was actually really cool. It was, That's super cool. It was kind of like it was like five years ago or 10 years ago when you would go and like yeah. at this time of the year, like November, no December, right, either, October yeah. Yeah. to maybe March mm-hmm. after 9, 10 o'clock. There's nobody there. Yeah. Definitely not telling people this is going to happen. I think it had a lot to do with it being very cold and rainy. Very cold, very rainy. But yeah. it was okay. a it, good good place, good time kind of thing. Okay. It was rad, man. And then we went, um, so we went the next day. Right. Um, and um, there was, it was light crowds, probably till about three o'clock. Yeah. Huh. It was I mean, kind of the, we... it was kind of the perfect weekend for us to go, despite all the weirdness. Right. It was, it was rainy and cold, so we were kind of hoping, okay, that's going to keep everybody in. I think it actually did. So we got, that's we got a lot of rides in at night, which is kind of our favorite time in the park, anyways. Right. And then the next day, we still got to do a bunch of stuff in the day without having to to waste a bunch of time okay. hanging out with everybody. Well, so in the next day, on the first, it was, um, we. Uh, we woke up late because we were up till probably 3.30, you okay. know? So we woke up late. We got into the parks probably about, I don't know, 12.30-ish. Right, yeah. Um, went straight to Carthay, had a Bloody Mary. Actually empty. Really? Actually nobody walked in there. To, to Carthay? Yeah. Yeah. Just Actually, walked, no walked one right in. in. Um, this is so surprising. <laughs> it was surreal, dude. It was it was kind of it was kind of strange. It was very reminiscent, like I said, like five, ten years ago of just there's nobody here. And right. yeah, so then our next stop, we walk around. Um, our next stop, Cove Bar. Mm-hmm. Instant table. What? Yeah. There were actually <laughs> seats available at the bar. Yeah. Ooh. No, <laughs> like four it's of so them. Weird. There were there were there were seats peppered throughout the original co bar, and then that expansion had right. a bunch of groups. But there was no wait, and when Nothing. we left, no wait. This yeah. is insane. The last time I went to yeah. Cove Bar, we well, I didn't stand in line. I went and rode rides, but our group stood in line for like an hour and twenty minutes. Yeah, nothing. That's insane. Crazy. Yeah. So, also in uh, so we spent um, a big portion of our day in DCA, um, and they have this thing called Festival of Holidays, which we may have spoken about, I don't know, but it was like brand new for me, and yeah. it was very reminiscent of the um, art and, uh, or no, sorry, the, the Food, and, food wine and Wine Festival at okay. Epcot. They had all these kiosks up, and they had little food bites mm. for sale, they had alcohol at every booth, but all from different places. So like, yeah. I got Swedish uh, meatballs for $8, and uh, champagne. Nice. Three well, Swedish meatballs. Oh, so that was for the other thing. Eight, Three sorry, of them. Dollars. Forgot where you guys were for but a second. I will say, yeah. really good. Okay, they were meatballs. I mean, it's fine. They were right. Good. 
That's kind of what you're paying for, though. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, it, so it was reminiscent of that where like each kiosk kind of specialized in two or three foods. Right. And they're bites, and you're paying for it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And it's cool. Like tapas. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Um, it, was, it was really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's very, very cool. However, very expensive. You don't need to charge that much. And so it kind yeah. of made me upset a little bit. I've kind of, you know, because, look, you're paying all this money to get into the park. Yeah. We already paid a bunch of money last night. We already paid a bunch. And then now we're buying $8 uh, friigging Swedish meatballs, dude. You should know by now how it, how it works. I well, know, yeah. but That's I just, how it works. I, just I, I'm, I guess, I don't know. I want to see the good in everything. Yeah. I don't. No, I, I, you don't. Well, yeah. it's it, was, it was kind of seven to 10 bucks for this like little bite. Like I'm all for trying new food and that's right. kind of what they're trying right. to do, but. I don't know, whatever. I thought it was really cool, though. For I, I didn't realize how excited I would be for there to be more to do in DCA. Like, yeah. There was, it was, to okay. see something new, okay. and there were craft tables, and there were... Um, hmm. There were photo opportunities. We took right. a photo with uh, the country bears. Yeah, they you had don't two of the see country the bears. Country bears. No. Yeah. So that was awesome, That's and they cool. were really funny. And they had um, like uh, fish, plastic fish with mm-hmm. bows on it. Yeah. And then you would like kiss the fish or hold the fish or whatever, and it was a That's cute. That's awesome. It was a cute. I'll, I'll put the photo on the uh, on the blog. I, when we yeah, post I think it. you showed me the photo. It's cute. Um, but yeah, it, it gave DCA a breath of life actually That's that good. I thought was really cool. So you don't just beeline it to to Cars Land where that's where it is. Everybody else has it was, There was just yeah. a lot of stuff to do, and it went almost, it went about halfway around the entire park. Wow. It stopped at about oh, wow. uh, Toy Story, but it went from Carthay all the way to there. And there was just kiosks, probably- That's awesome. 12 to 20 kiosks. Yeah. It was pretty neat. So that was really cool. That was cool to see, and that was a very unexpected. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I really like that. Um, so where are we? I what think was we're, it called? It was the called festival, the festival, festival of holidays. holidays. So it was it celebrating holidays. different holidays. So like Christmas and uh, Kwanzaa and just Hanukkah, all the, Hanukkah, and Hanukkah, all, all the, the different all holidays the yeah. throughout different countries. Um, so then we went back to the hotel and we got ready for the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Which was a dress up thing. They encourage you to dress up. So when I read the thing, the, the, the ticket thing, I swear... On everything, I'm swear on every cat I've ever pet in my trailer, <laughs> that it was like hang out in the lobby and like hang out and it's like kind of like a small reception or whatever. Right. <clears throat> so we're you know we're getting ready and we do the thing and we're like walking through the Esplanade and we're like oh I wonder where we meet. Uh, there's a couple of people that look like us you know milling about and I'm like oh okay and then I, we kind of look over and there's a table. Uh, so if you're looking at the entrance to DCA, the ticket booths on the right hand side. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's a table in front and this giant crowd oh, around this table. And I'm like, no. what the actual. So we walk in, <laughs> just kind of, there's a little bit of line to, you know, check in anyway. And, and so that whole space between the front of the ticket booths and where the security booths used to be. Yeah. Right. Uh-huh. Packed full of people. Oh my gosh! In a in absolutely a, packed, a swirling line. Wait, what? Back oh and forth gosh. line. There, I would guess there are probably six hundred people there. Oh my gosh! Well, that's okay. exclusive. Yeah. Right. What? Super. <laughs> Paying ninety-five dollars a piece. Mm-hmm. We all and <sighs> they just came up. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> and everyone looked really great. There were a couple people that didn't even dress up, but there were a lot of people that looked really. Oh, like to the whatever. nines, like. Yeah. Full like sequence gowns. Dapper. Wow. Yeah. Oh, Just yeah. The full. Yeah, like the from 20s, the 20s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So anyway, we get in eventually and we, we like, you know, you're walking down Buena Vista Street. It's 1030 at night. There's Buena Vista. It, B- Buena Vista. <laughs> Buena Vista. Uh, DC had closed at nine. Right. Right. So you're you're walking so down. That's kind of cool. It was neat. Yes, yeah, that it was part neat. was very cool. Hang a left, go to Hollywood Land or whatever it is. And they had at the end of, you know, that... Um, um, the the place where you can take the picture of like with the the, the cloud, sunset with the, the fake, fake yeah by yeah. Beverly yeah. Beverly yeah they had a cardboard uh, scale cut out of Tower of Terror that you can take a photo it was a photo op okay it's kind of cool I was like well whatever and then so you turn right and go to Tower of Terror and they had a, a red carpet a full with, red like, carpet palm trees and cool. velvet ropes and 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 the DCA like characters right taking photos like oh that's so perfect oh and like the flash bulb like was you're popping. a star yeah. walking that's cool. through there it was like neat that. it was, I was very like, cute DCA that's cool. characters just like the, like people there like, dressed in the twenties kind of um, through my phone cast members <laughs> cast members cast, cast yeah. members okay yeah, I'm yeah. sorry I thought I was like 
You, you know, mean like, like Mr. Like, Incredible? <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, like Mr. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. Like, Solely's there. I, yeah. But that's what I thought you meant. Like, gotcha. Okay. Like characters. I no, no, like, I meant like like the way to Vista characters, right? Who right. kind of like do you the thing. Vista characters. Mm-hmm. Okay. Got yes. It. Right. Um, so you walk in, and they had uh, all around like Aladdin's theater, and kind of to the left of. Oh yeah, Frozen, Frozen Theater. Frozen Thank theater. you, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, to the left of uh, of of Tower of Terror, they had a bunch of like stand up tables, and they had free desserts. That's cool. Like t- some tiramisu cake and some brownie or whatever. It was pretty cool. Okay. And wine, right? Well, well we're getting we'll there. Get there. So we had okay. they had they had like bars of you know coffee and tea and all that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. and that was all free. But they had four bars for alcoholic drinks, and you can pay whatever. And it was a very small selection of like a Corona Light and a mm-hmm. Heineken and a whatever, like the worst kind of trash. Yeah. <laughs> Considering how much the line California beer. beer they sell yes. in DCA, they was like the most garbage <laughs> beer. And I I will drink a garbage beer, right? Real, but I will not drink a Corona Light. Right, <laughs> not for eight dollars. Exactly, that's right. water. Right. Yeah. I, I don't need. I don't need alcohol. I right. enjoy it. <laughs> right. <Yeah. laughs> I don't need to drink an alcoholic that. beverage Tea that has opposed. no flavor. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, we get in a line, and here, long story short, <laughs> they didn't have a square. They didn't have any sort of electronic that form of payment at blows all. My mind. They literally. <laughs> you remember? You may. You. You're old enough. You might remember. Right. Yeah. You old. The the uh, carbon. <laughs> Papers. When they ch- ch- yes. Yes. But you even better. That's no, no. what they were doing. No, no. They had the slips, right. and they would put the card down, and then they would put the slip over the card and rub With it the, so the yeah. numbers your come mouth. up. Yeah. I thought, when you told me about this, I thought they actually oh. had the... Ch- no. No. Not even that. Oh, then shut they, up. Then they'd take the card out, and then they fill out the form mm-hmm. as to what you got and how much it was, and then you sign it, and it, it it took a minute to even pay for the thing. Then they turn around and make the drink. This is Disneyland. Yeah. This I'm is no, Disneyland. offended. <laughs> Not no, only we Disneyland. were offended. This is... Well, at that point... This is 2016. Literally yeah. a square. Uh, a square. Yeah. Costs ten dollars at any store, yeah. and then Apple gives you a nine dollar and ninety nine cent gift card. It's free. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. It was pretty bad. So we actually line hopped about four different lines yeah. to find one yeah. that actually. And it Holy just. Holy moly. It, it was. It, it was pretty weird. Um, but it was kind of cool over in that area at the left. Um, they had a DJ, mm-hmm. but he was dressed in like a white tuxedo. <laughs> wiki wiki, um, but you know, in like the old movies from like twenties and thirties, the bandstand, uh-huh. it's like that Art Deco kind of covering in front of the the music stands yeah. and whatever. So there were four of those, but just one DJ, <laughs> and he had his oh. no, no, it was cool. He had his MacBook. So his MacBook was out, and he's like, okay, next, we're really going to crank things up. Here's, you know, Benny Goodman with uh, All Aboard the Choo Choo Train. And he would just play, like, the next really? jitterbug. Day. It was it was, it was cute. cute. It was fine. They, they, like, played with it. Because they couldn't do what, they, I guess, maybe they even wanted to do, or they were, they were making fun of themselves, maybe. I guess. Okay. But it was kind of clever, and they're like, okay, we're going to slow things down a little bit so all you Phillies can dance with your... Wa-. And they okay. had uh, okay. like a swing dance uh, team right. teaching people how to swing dance. Yeah, they, right. had, they had plants in the audience, so you didn't really know that they were... You thought they were just really cool people out there dancing at the very beginning, but okay. really they were pulling people in. And That's like, cool. Teaching how to cute. dance. So it was really neat. Everyone, most people rushed to Tower of Terror. So at right. one point there was like a 20 minute wait for Tower of Terror. <laughs> Which is, wow. Yeah. 20 minute wait for this party yeah. for Tower of Terror. <laughs> you paid for. So we just, you know, we're hanging around eating and we're like, oh, let's go. Okay. Let's go ride the bride. Right. Fine. So we w- basically you could walk on or you can kind of hang away from the crowd and take photos oh. in the lobby. Okay. And this is where I thought we'd be spending all of our time anyway. <laughs> right, right. So, like, I brought a Main Street Fanny Packers patch, and I was going to take a bunch of photos, with, but I was like, this is dumb. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> um, and so we got to take a bunch of photos, and you could kind of pose in front of the fireplace, you know, mm-hmm. in, in line and whatever, right. and, and, and there were a few people taking a, a lot of <laughs> a lot of uh, uh, care to take as much time as possible, so it was very weird. Uh-huh. It wasn't like a controlled Disney thing. Right. Oh, no. But Disney had no idea it was going to happen. It was very weird. Yeah. They kind of just let you go through. So I got some okay. cool photos, um, and then before you go into like the main room to watch the movie, before you right. go c- continue on, there's like some cool artwork and stuff down there, so I got some photos, and just kind of a cool opportunity. To, yeah, be to be able go in, like, to the take couch fo- area? Yeah. Oh, 
That's cool. Okay. Um, which is kind of what I, like I said, what I expected to do, and that's kind of what I was there for. Right, like, I right. really want to take photos of this place. So we went in, we ride the ride again. I'm, I mean, every time I ride that ride, it's worse for me. I'm like screaming like a child. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I, I know children that don't scream as much as I do on this ride. The last wow. time I rode that ride, one of the girls I was with actively cried. I was she, almost there, she dude. She didn't want to get on it. We all It was a big group of us. We all yeah. kind of forced her to. And then yeah. she got off and she was like in tears. And I was like, oh, Aww. we're jerks. Yeah, <laughs> you are. Um, oh, I forgot. Well, no, no, I'm mixing my stories now. So um, we're on the ride. We're doing the thing. I'm screaming because I hate it. And I'm like, I'm glad this ride's going away. Guardians of the Galaxy for life. <laughs> like, I can't You're wait awful. for it to stop. Yeah, he was actually doing that. I really it's was. literally the same ride. It might be. I don't know. It will be. And uh, <laughs> so we get off the ride, and you know, you can take your, you know, picture of you on know, the thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, ah. And um, there's the world's biggest merch line. Oh yeah. Into the thing. So yeah. while we're walking into the park, they give you a voucher, and they go, <laughs> "This voucher funny. is so you can buy this uh, Tower of Terror, you know, paperweight, and it's shaped like a key, like the old-fashioned skeleton okay. keys." Okay. Okay. And I'm like. But oh, it's, oh! You, it, so you you get the key? It's it's free? They go no! It's thirty four ninety five. <laughs> it's a voucher, so you can buy so it. So you can buy it. So yeah. like, who you in get, the line can't buy it? You know, like yeah. nobody, right? right. Like, if you I don't come understand. into the park, you get a voucher. If you can't get into the park without paying for you it, you don't have a voucher. You don't have a voucher. Right. I feel like this is the Hudsucker proxy right now. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny is I went I went to Disneyland in September and I, we rode Tower of Terror for the last time. Shit, <laughs> shed a tear. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, but same thing. The merch line was I. It was out of this out world. Out of control. Yeah. And I bought had... like two or th- I think I bought like a magnet and like a door, like a one of those do not disturb mm. door things. Uh-huh. Yeah. I bought one of those because I was like, like well, $100. Might as well, but yeah. I was still just like, why am I doing this? This was, It was <laughs> bending around the side. So, you know, when you get off that ride, the the the, the cash register is on the far corner. It was mm-hmm. bending uh-huh. around the side. And then they actually had the other end of the ride. So you can go wait in line, like in the exit, essentially. Right. And they'll let you in to go and do your shopping. So you don't have to go through the ride to go through the thing. Wow. It was there. People were coming into the gift shop at both ends. They were just going in. Wow! But then you had that voucher. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I, well, I, I don't I, think it's right to call it a voucher. Yeah, no. you can't misplace your voucher. It's a rain check. And it was it was one per person, please. Oh yeah. Strict limit one per person. It's thirty five dollars for a paper. First it's of all, spend a seventy dollars on a paperweight. Dude, with two paperweights. If you what? need a if you need a paperweight, close a window. You don't. Nobody needs a paperweight. <laughs> no one ever <laughs> needs a paperweight. Go outside. Pick up a rock. Right. Yeah. 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 Nature's was, paperweight. It was Buy, ca- p- take any random crap from your house. Yeah. A shoe. Right. <laughs> You're done. A DVD. Yeah. So All of the things. We were kind of, we were done at that. We had done everything we wanted. To, we were there for maybe 45 minutes. Wow. And wow. we're like, hey, let's just, you want to go? It's like the most expensive It was the reason we went, life. and it was yeah. kind of it was kind of awful. It was kind of, it was executed weird. There were some bucks. really cool spots. Did you get to ride anything in DCA? No, that was the only no, one. just going right to Other Tower of Terror. Only yeah. Tower of Terror. That's was everything else is closed. Yeah. Yeah. It was an hour and a half yeah. after the park closed. Yeah. 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 Well, so, no, I, but we went to the, the what's Indiana Jones thing? Yeah, the, the oh, Passover. Oh, yeah, and other things were open. But we actually got to ride other rides. Yeah, this, yeah. Was, no, this was, was not like that. Like that. Was not like no. that. that was way better. But we got to take some that photos of like the, you know, of like the 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 Christmas tree in DCA that we didn't get to do, and you know, I don't know, whatever. Right. It was it was interesting, um, but uh, Pay yeah, for bragging rights, basically. Yeah. yeah, was it worth it? No. No. Okay. No, it really no. wasn't. And I, I I just I have a feel like the the I don't the last thing I thought was worth it that I went to as a pass holder for the special event was like the Cars Land screening. That was really cool. Yeah, that sounds amazing. That Everything, was awesome. Yeah. It's just kind of, this was really not, I see what they were trying to do, but for what they did and how much money they wanted from you. It was not nearly enough. It wasn't, it was not enough. It was not enough. It was a terrible. Well, I also think but the I amount of people they allowed to do it. Like, that was the other thing. Silly. Like, I was on that. Like, they announced it and I was on that in five minutes. Like, I, I expected a hundred people. Yeah. I really did. I really did. And I expected to be in the thing and maybe get a tour or some somebody t- telling us maybe, okay, this Something would be great. to validate the exclusivity of it. Like, like the Indiana Jones thing. Exactly. 
Tony, I almost called him Tony Blair. <laughs> Tony Baxter. Sure thing. Was, Tony, look, if Tony Blair was there, <laughs> that would have been amazing. Uh, but Tony Baxter was right. there talking about the it ride. It was amazing. It, give me something like that. Right, give me right. an Imagineer. Tell me about the ride a little bit, like just kind of the nuances. Like we did the Tower of Terror, the history of the Tower of Terror. You did that, right? Did yeah, I did. Yeah. I learned more from that than I would have anywhere else. Like give me some of that. Right. Pay, look, you should have paid, paid Terrence to do it. Sounds good. 95 bucks yeah. right. per listener. It would have been good. <laughs> yeah. I, I honestly know. felt like we got duped. You got you got taken. We, we got we got wrangled in, and so the worst part, <laughs> the absolute worst part of it all, is that we now are annual pass holders again. <laughs> what? I knew it. <laughs> I knew <laughs> it. Yes. <laughs> I called it. Five. Guys, Parents and no, I just had don't high five. We knew it was going to happen. High five my misery. We're going down there. For oh. New Year's, I turned to Becca and I said, at some point on this trip, Taryn's going to say, I really wish I still had a pass. And you're going to say, I do too. And, and I knew say, it was okay. going to happen. I, it wasn't exactly that okay, so wait, n- I, willy-nilly. I said, huh. <laughs> they're going to Disneyland. They're paying for two-day park hoppers. But then they're going again to do the run. But then they're going again mm-hmm. for our hundredth episode, and for D twenty three, and then and for D so, and then for D twenty three, and I was like, "Why aren't they getting annual passes?" And so that's that's, real dumb. that's what we put together in our heads and went. It wouldn't make financial sense to not do it. Yeah, yeah. But honestly, I want to I want to get sucker tattooed on my head. Oh, for real. Like, Jeremy and I just uh, virtually high fived in the chat. <laughs> of course you did because yeah. we were talking about no, that earlier as I wanna, well. I want to oh, be in it. on that too. Yeah, <laughs> I did it too. Oh uh, yeah. So Welcome that happened. Back. Yeah. yeah, it's oh, fine. Oh, so I'm the odd man out. Can, can ears up pay for my uh, annual pass? <laughs> yeah. Can we afford that? Um, I would contribute. <laughs> I can contribute some of it. So Got five on it. The, five on it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, guys. Six. <laughs> We're at that level now. Sorry. So what they're doing right now, actually, is they're running a promo... Always always be running promo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Um, you get a one-month free... So it actually expires in 13 months instead of 12 months. That's amazing, That's actually. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of nice. So the 200 and whatever dollars a piece we spent on friggin' tickets, uh, that just you know obviously rolls into our thing. But so right. I also learned that if you you buy like two day park hopper, you you have to upgrade to the passport at that trip. Yes. That's on your last day, you can't yes. wait a month after. And I, I guess I... I did not know that. Yeah. Neither I thought did you I. could wait like no. a month or whatever. No, no and, and I didn't know it and they don't, maybe they don't, they didn't tell us actually. They don't tell you, maybe some people do, but I would just have assumed. I would have gone on my merry way going, hey, I'm sure we have some sort of time around, revolving time that you could, right. no, you can't do it. So if you want to make this decision, it's like, the like the day of closing on the last day that yep. you have your pass. Huh. Mm-hmm. Well, so your, the smart your, thing your is that if we had just gone in there to get annual passes, they would have been blocked out those two days. <laughs> so yes, it was actually true. smart for us to get the two day park hoppers and then upgrade them at the end because okay. then so we, we upgraded. Well, and technically, now your monthly payment is less, right? Because you've yeah, already put sure. X mm-hmm. amount of dollars yeah. down. Yeah, yeah. Um, so what they did is. They, you know, we upgraded our passes in the middle of the day, and then don't smirk at me. <laughs> don't <laughs> smirk at me. That extra I just month knew is pretty happen. Yeah. Um, and then they write you exception tickets. So we we felt special because <laughs> SPCL. Yeah, we were, like Taryn said, if we had our passes normally, we would not have been able to go those yeah. two days. So there you go. That's so we, our experience. That's what happened. Why didn't I get an extra month? When did they start doing that? It was just brand. Know. It was a brand new thing. Like. Yeah, I'm sure the beginning of this year. I honestly don't know when they started it. But yeah, we so got now lucky. instead of ours ending on the first or the 31st of December, they're going to end on the 31st of January. That's not bad. That's which yeah. means I can get a birthday trip in before. That's nice. There you it go. Ends. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not getting an annual pass, but <laughs> I'm sticking to my guns. <laughs> <laughs> well, but and I think you you kind of put it uh, put us over the edge. So yeah. it's your fault. A yeah, it little actually bit. was your fault because you 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 reminded us about D23 because we're did. like because. We're like, well, if we go, you know, if for the hundredth show, and then we want to go with some of Terrence's family, then that would just qualify. Like we we did the math, mm-hmm. um, you know, if you get like the park hoppers, like the three day park hoppers, um, mm-hmm. you know, then maybe it's not worth it. But if you go, if you get the two day park hoppers, if you go three times, then that's like, then it's worth it. But we're gonna be back at the park four more friggin' times. Yeah, this for year. the yeah. run and then the- for the run for D twenty three for the hundredth episode, uh, three more times. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's silly not to. Yeah. I, I, I think it's smart that, I mean, if you're going to go that many times, I think it's smart that you did that. Yeah. So the thing, the reason I'm not getting a pass is because if I had a pass, I would then make excuses to go three or four or five more times. I agree. I have no ticket. I have no trips planned at this point other than our hundredth episode. I don't need a Come pass. Come to D23 and then you get a pass. I don't want to get to. I don't okay. Now see, for you, it wouldn't, it wouldn't yeah. make sense. It wouldn't make sense. Right. Yeah. You can be financially so responsible. 2017 is the last year we're going to have passes. It's literally for. a web yeah. of lies. Do not believe a word he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, because that's we're, our plan. We're, we're in 2018, we're you. going to Disney World. We're just yeah. Get the bigger, we you're just going to get no. the bigger passes that allow we, you to get into Trust me, it, it already came up. We it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a giant. Tra- dude, uh, okay. So it was worth it to go down there, like <laughs> the crowds and stuff like that. But that drive back, boom. Oh, the January second, mm-hmm. it took us almost three hours longer than it normally would. Yeah, Ugh. didn't you say it took like ten hours or something stupid? Um, almost nine hours. Nine. Yeah. It was insane. That's horrible. Just traffic, just people. Yeah. I've literally never hit traffic on the five in my life. Yeah, there yeah. was a thirty car accident with yeah big going problems. down. Yeah, going, going down. down. Yeah, Yikes. and then coming back, just crowds of people. So yeah. anyway, that's our trip. It was, it was an interesting it trip. Was, it was a trip. We are liars. <laughs> We're liars. Let's do some news. Literal and web of lies. <laughs> March in the past, present, and future with all the news that's fit to cover. It's the Ears Up Disney News. We were just told we need to make sure that we put a uh, disclaimer on the annual pass show that it's a sham. <laughs> <laughs> Not all of us are a sham. <laughs> uh, that's true. <clears throat> Um, let's see. Uh, passionate Star Wars fans are launching a petition to make Carrie Fisher's character an official Disney princess. Uh, while she officially is Disney owned, Princess Leia is still not considered an official Disney princess. Merchandise from the entertainment company featuring the Disney princesses does not include the member of Alderaan royalty, in part because Carrie Fisher isn't an animated character. Hmm. Strange that they draw that line. Huh. Uh, but over 90,000 fans so far are looking to change that. They've all come together to sign a petition on change.org, and you know how I feel about that. But um, urging Walt Disney CEO Bob Iger to ed- who add her to the ranks of the other Disney princesses. Hmm. I mean, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Did anybody really want to add her before she died? Um, hmm. Yes. Once, she- once Disney bought her, there was a giant like outpouring of like, hey, Leia is now a Disney princess, but it was kind of unofficial. Okay. But uh, I, 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 yeah. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm no, just no. saying. Like, <clears throat> it's, it's very valid. Um, they say uh, this would be a wonderful way to remember Carrie and a welcoming to one of Disney's newest properties that's beloved by millions. Um, blah, 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 blah. So that's kind of cool, I guess. So if you want to do that, go find it on change.org. It, it's not going to do anything, but uh, I'm sure they're going to do it. I mean, they kind of yeah. have to. They kind of have to do that. Um, let's see. That's just for me personally. So we posted this on our Facebook page, and I emailed the uh, email out to everybody. Yeah. It's about oh, fast passes. Oh, yes. Max pass. Max pass. Yeah. Uh, many guests already know that Disney, this is from the Disney blog, that Disney Fast Pass is one of the best ways to make the most of their time right. at Disney Parks. This landmark intervention innovation was first introduced at Disneyland Resort and Walt Disney World in 1999 as a way to provide guests with faster access to the fun. Over the years, Disney Fast Pass has evolved and expanded and is used at our theme parks differently based on the unique ways our guests enjoy sights around the world. Stop it. Okay. Um, so here's what they're doing. Toy Story Midway Mania is getting a Fast Pass. That's yes. great. I'm super happy about that. Matterhorn yeah. bobsled getting a fast pass. Don't Iffy really care, but it's fine. <laughs> I am okay with that. Yeah, I don't mind. Waiting never cared. That line. I don't care. Don't care about it. I mean, I never go on Matterhorn. I do. Don't care. I there's better rides. Honestly, I don't go on that because the ride there the the line kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. So I mean, cool. Yeah. I see no problem with it. I mean, it. great. Yeah, I, if you know what, if you giving, love that ride. If go giving, for if it. If giving you know it a mean? fast pass pulls other people from other crowded areas and yeah. makes them get on that ride and ride it, then I agree. Godspeed. I agree. Um, so that is happening. They are also later this year. So they don't say when that's going to happen. When these fast passes are going to happen. Uh, but later this year, they say we will launch something called Disney Max Pass, which will allow guests to maximize their experience by providing unlimited downloads of their high-resolution photo pass images. 
So you know yeah. you don't have to pay for the for the right. photo passes anymore. Right. Like the, to right. get them printed, you can download them. Right. Which we had to pay for our anniver- for our um, a lot. Come on, engagement. our engagement photos. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's only if you have the the fancy annual pass that you get them. For yeah. Free, right? yeah. Yeah. Well, which I wonder how that's going to work. Like how much extra that is because we know people who have that. How much extra is that? And later on this year they can kind of anyway. Um, right. So that happens with the max pass, um, and. You can, uh, excuse me, you can enable the convenience of mobile booking and redemption of Disney Fast Pass return times all by using the Disneyland app. So now it's, so it's kind of like Disney World. Mm-hmm. I love this idea. But you have to pay for it. Ten, ten bucks a day. That's, that's introductory introductory price. Yeah, ten bucks. That's An introductory price of ten dollars. Which means that it's going to be fifteen and then twenty and then thirty. A yeah, but day. It's to use bucks. an app. To me. It's more people meandering throughout the parks, staring at their phone, and mm-hmm. not walking yeah, and getting I'm not the into crap it. out of my way. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but let's be honest. It's 10 That's bucks. exactly what it is. It's per not, person, per day. It's 10 bucks. It's so not, for your family, it's So 50 you would buy bucks. it. 40 bucks, because Frankie doesn't care. Well... Frankie can't go on anything, so we're not no, going to... We won't pay for it, because we can't use it, but... Right. 10 bucks. It's not that bad to, okay. be, able, to be able to be in line. So... If if I understand it correctly, right, you can actually basically have the fast pass directly on your phone without going yes. to the kiosk. So imagine being in line for one ride for Space Mountain mm-hmm. and getting a and booking your fast pass while you're on Space Mountain for Indy. Right, I think that's it's not, great. That's, that's not that's, worth ten bucks. But at Walt well, Disney World, it's free. Yeah, but we're talking about Disneyland. It's sort of free, but it, you have to have it with a magic band, and right. that mm. is included in your package, right. uh, in your ticket price, but nothing's really free. They just roll it into the price. Yeah. I think so it's, I, think I don't know why idea. they don't just roll it into the stupid price of the ticket. Give it to yeah. us for, quote, free. Right. Why are, why are we paying $10? Why are you making it obvious that you don't want people in this park? You don't. They don't want people in the park. They're raising the prices. They've said that. They right. want to find that envelope where they raise the prices so far that they see a drop in attendance. I mean, I guess... Get rid of the SoCal Pass! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For the love of Jesus! I think it's... It's true. Uh, yeah, it's... That would uh, help the, his the love. The photo part is Sorry. cool. I guess it's... Um, the photo part adds a little bit more value. I like that as well because I'd rather have that. But it's I'd also very random. Well, why are these connected? Like, I don't know. Why well, because not it's, just have it's the through app? the Disneyland app. Right. So, so they just want people doing more on the Disneyland yes, app. Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. That's all. That I'm going to get real grandpa here for a minute, but I don't yeah. like it at all. Like, I don't like. I don't like that you don't have to walk to the kiosk. I'm a lazy cow, mm-hmm. but I would rather walk to the kiosk than have to, than be more attached, like than be on vacation and be more attached to my cell phone. Yeah, mm-hmm. that makes sense. I can yeah. understand that. Like I, yeah. I kind of hate it. I can understand that, but the thing get off I, my lawn. The thing I like about it is that you no longer have to have runners. You don't have to have someone, and you hand them all your tickets, and they run to Adventureland to get fast passes for your Adventureland while you're waiting in line for this ride and then they come back and have to try to hop in front of people and get up I've there. literally never done that. I've literally never I done haven't, that. Never you, done you're that. probably not in, so not you in a big enough either. group. Yes, no, I you have. have. Yeah. He goes with a group of like 30 uh, people. Yeah. So I've done that. and so I'd rather kill myself than ten go bucks, to Disneyland with 30 people. 10 bucks a day yeah. To be able to be in line and really quickly pull out your phone, but see, get a fast pass. Well, and, and I guess done. that's my point. Ten like bucks that. a day for thirty people—that's three hundred dollars a but day. Not, your group is spending. I, the group is spending that, yes, but it would be fifty bucks a day. For fifty dollars a, a day. Yeah, but that means I just don't eat churros that day. It's okay. You don't. That's not okay, <laughs> bro. Still okay. gonna eat churros. That's the thing. I, I, I see the value in it. I'm waiting, really I'm waiting for the day when they just have the ride on virtual reality, and you don't actually leave any of your house. <laughs> it's $30 a day. You can ride every ride possible. Yeah. You put the goggles it, on. You sit in the special chair that you paid for, and imagine, you're riding it. Dude. They have a ride like that at Disney World where you create your own roller coaster. Kyle or Matt, please call me. Let's talk <laughs> about this. Let's patent this design. You don't ever have to leave. You can just sit and experience it. But you know what I mean? That's... You that's where sit, we're experience Hawaii with some heat lamps. Oh, that'd be amazing. Dunsky bra. <laughs> bra. I don't know. I, I'm I'm sort of on the fence. I I like uh, uh, I like the Toy Story edition of mm-hmm. the Fast Pass. Oh, that's great. Because now we can actually ride the ride. I think yes. that's great. And there's that so many times. That line is so long. Yeah. Uh, notice it's there's it's not for Peter Pan though. 
No, no. Still not. Still no Peter Pan. But some rides have to have a line, or you can't have every every ride have a fast pass because you need people standing in line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have to have a lot of people standing in a lot of lines, or the park is honestly. Every time I get a fast pass for. Uh, the Cars ride. What's it called? Midway? No. Uh, it's the wrong ride. Ridgeway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, Radiator Springs. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I, I've never, I've never waited We're in that dumb. line. I've, <laughs> I've always fast passed it. And every time I get a fast pass and I'm walking through and I look at the people in the line, I'm like, why would you why? do <laughs> Yeah. Why I is mean, this happening? The queue is kind of neat. Is I've done it once. It's not no. neat enough for two hours, dude. No, it's not. No. But I don't know. And, and that's, I guess, the beauty of Disneyland, right? Is that we all kind of Disneyland differently. We all kind of mm-hmm. do the park at our own pace, it's just a different way. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I would not pay ten bucks to do. I don't know. I might. No, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't think I would pay ten bucks. I don't think we would pay. I $10 don't need the app. I can walk because you're still tied in. You still can't. It's not like unlimited or no. whatever. You still have See, a set amount. It doesn't have enough enough qualities about it to. To warrant being to $10. To warrant bucks. $10. Yeah. I think in a less grandpa way, Taryn agrees with me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. I absolutely we, agree with you. I was talking to, uh, I don't want to say the person's name, but uh, they were telling me that there's a, a huge, secured, un, non-critical Wi-Fi network at Disneyland that can more than take care of anybody's, um, I- 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 any amount of guests, and they just haven't turned it on. Are you serious? <gasps> yeah. Rude. And imagine if Disney offered free Wi-Fi, or with this $10, if you got an access code to get Wi-Fi... All day? Why wouldn't they just give Wi-Fi? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. But let me. So if if we got with this, if we got Wi-Fi with this, I would pay ten bucks just so I could tweet out pictures of me at Carthay. Because in Carthay, (laughs) it's a huge dead zone. I cannot send out photos. Yeah. Yeah. And it's very important to me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. Anyway, um, guests will continue to have the option of Disney Fast Pass service at no cost by obtaining Fast Passes at attraction uh, kiosks, just as they do today. Um, oh God, I, sometimes PR is the worst. The addition of these two new Disney Fast Pass locations and the introduction of Disney Max Pass is part of our ongoing commitment to providing guests with opportunities to customize their experiences and make it even easier than ever Please. to create unforgettable memories. Wow. Terrible. Yeah. Even easier than ever. Right. Sounds dumb. It, this is you basically sounds stupid. This basically sounds like we're giving you an opportunity to buy this paperweight. <laughs> yeah. So you paid ninety five dollars. We're going to give you an opportunity to pay more money. You can spend this. Well, yeah. you can spend ten dollars to get the thing that you can get for free. <laughs> basically, yeah. Right. Ex- exactly. Yeah. Um, I'd be interested in seeing if there's a limit. Of how many fast passes you can do that with yeah. at the same time? I think that it's, I think yeah, that it's the same but as fast passes. I still, I, I still, like I said, it's a good, it's a good value yeah. to me. It is cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean I don't, I don't know how to like. I, I have no rebuttal. And what I, and the reason why <laughs> you want to go outside and yeah, tell me how cool it is for you? Tea. Yeah, <laughs> that dude. It is this terrible pun. He had terrible teeth. D. It was weird. <laughs> he was a super OC hipster. Yeah. Like an old hipster, though. Oh. Uh, Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival returns March 10th. Finally, some timely news for us that we can report on. Through April 16th with additional festival marketplaces. The Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Fest. Um, each day, guests are invited to celebrate some of the best, some of the best of delicious California cuisine. This person... <laughs> Aaron Glover, some editorial content of, director. Some, I'm sorry. He's re, a director? Some of, she. Some of the oh, Aaron. best. Of delicious. Some of the best of delicious California cuisine. It should have been some of the best of the delicious. This person is an editorial content director. This is a person in charge of directing content. She. It's a type. Let's call it a type. Good for yeah, her. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, give her uh, a break. There will be even more festival marketplaces to enjoy this year, plus enhanced festival-inspired menus. What is a festival? Oh, it's a, just a, okay, I get it. Uh, at existing restaurants and eateries, so that's cool. It's going to be different menus and stuff. Um, festival-inspired sounds like the festival of holiday st- like style. Yeah, where guests can sip and savor delicious flavors from across the golden state. I don't know what that means, but this is what I don't understand about these blogs: is there's literally no, um, there's no examples of what's going to happen. I mean, I get, I get it; they don't know, but I'm sure they have some idea about 
something. I mean, At flavors least, yes. flavors from across the Golden State. Are you picking golden pop like the uh, poppies, the California flower, <laughs> and uh, sautéing them in some sort of uh, California yeah, what uh, are olive California? oil? California. I, I don't like know. Mexican food. Tapas. Neither does she. Yeah, yeah it's Mexican street burritos. Food and everyone ham- tacos with everywhere. Cali- avocados. California rolls. Right. Yeah. Mm, yeah. California rolls. Yeah. Anything, I just anything with avocado. Maybe some tofu. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Here we go. Guests will Kale. enjoy. Kale. They will, will enjoy. enjoy. Kale, yeah. If they don't, if they don't enjoy <laughs> it, they will go to the Disney Gulag. Uh, guests will enjoy <laughs> culinary experiences created for the whole family. Including a variety of food, beverages, and lifestyle seminars. <laughs> Come <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I wish the camera faced your face right now because they would just see the, the, the epitome of disgust. What is a lifestyle seminar? I don't enjoy yoga. I don't know, but I want to sit. I want in the world. Maybe really? it's teaching people how to not stand, stop on Main Street. Uh, it, that would be awesome. That would if they be had great. That seminar. <laughs> Disney California Wine Adventure Food and Wine Fest will also feature ticketed events, of course, of such course. as ninety-five dollars <laughs> culinary demonstrations, beer, wine, and spirit seminars, premier, premium dining events, and demonstrations by celebrity chefs such as Guy Fieri. Fieri. James Dean. I thought he died. Oh, too soon. <laughs> Robert Irvine. Oh. oh. Duff wow. Goldman. I don't know these people. And, Duff. And, and again, these are He's people, cool. half of these people, nobody's ever heard of. And there's no links Very to them nice. or explaining who they are or what's going on. He's the cake guy. Uh, tickets for these experiences will be available February 1st. So mark your calendars. Ugh. No. Sometimes the I'm Disney good. blog is too You're much for me, so dude. You're so disgusted right now. It's I so can't great. even deal with the Disney blog you sometimes. You can't even. <laughs> um, and then last but not least, someone uh, posted this on our Facebook page. Uh, Run Disney has, you know, they, they partner up with New Balance and they offer like these exclusive Disney shoes. Terrence, do you have anything on the other side of that? Uh, yeah, I'll move it. All right. Because I want to show you these shoes. They're kind of bad. Running shoes are all kind of bad, but those uh... are not anything like what they're saying that they are I like, like the Toy Story one. So the Toy Story one, so you you, uh-uh. have, wait, you can lo- go to lo- learn more. Dislike. I would never wear them, but I like them. The Space Mountain are decent. So they're like in the in the, the colors of the Toy Story, but they took like the worst color, the mustard yellow, that Toy yeah, Story yellow. That's amazing. Oh, the and inside's that's the main cute. color of the yeah. shoe. The whole and shoe it's line. just kind of ugly. But yeah, they put the clouds on the inside, like yeah. Andy's room, but that's where your foot goes. That would have right. been so cute on the outside. No one's ever going to see it. This is the Space Mountain one, which like is kind of reminiscent of the the walkway down yeah. Space Mountain. It's okay. And the like light thing where they take your picture. Yeah. yeah. It's fine. Like the streaks of light yeah. where you're like going into hyperspace or whatever. That's okay. Um, I hate New Balance. This is, I forget what this it's was. Tea Party. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's not, that's terrible. It's just, it's mostly white. Yeah, I don't understand With some this. purple. It makes no sense to me. It's pretty dumb. Uh, here's the Haunted Mansion one. It's okay. That's okay. That's, That's the, the best, best one. It's like some of the wallpaper is on the on the thing, but like all this, I don't know. It's just, That's the best one there, It could there, be better. Though. I still hate New Balance. It's terrible. It's terrible. Yeah, these are not good. Unless they want to sponsor you. No, they're not bad. But you know what? Disney needs to make more money, so... Yeah, hell, yeah. help a New Balance. I wonder how much these are, though. That's the thing, Oh, man. bro. Do they have a, a price listing? No. Nah. I think you um, you put your information in, uh, and then you like queue up. They're gonna on, be so like, expensive. Saturday or Sunday or something like that. I don't really know to be honest with you, but yeah, I know they sell out all the time. You stand in line to buy shoes. Yeah, to you know. stand in line to, to go stand in line. <laughs> in those shoes to yeah. run. Um, okay, that's it for the shoes. Disney news, Terrence. You have a window, yeah? I do. Okay. Um, can I have those glasses real quick, please? You, you can. Here, help brother up. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, what do you? It's screw top wine. Screw top wine. Glassy. In, the, in so. a brown paper bag. Right? <laughs> I saw, you, best, saw you bring that in. I was like, wow. The best windows are the windows that come with wine. Yeah, that's true. We haven't had any good windows in yet. No. What no. are we doing? What is this? So this is. Um, we are going to be talking about Fest Parker tonight. Okay. And this is some wine from his winery. Fess Parker. It's a Frontier Red. So. Uh, Thank you. Frontier Red. Frontier Let me see that bottle Red. for a second. Yeah, absolutely. Because you did not give it me is, enough. It is. A, Take as much as you want. It is the Frontier. Uh, it's a uh, good cooking wine. The good. Uh, <laughs> it is the Frontier. Logo. Do you know that it's not good, or are you just guessing? No, I'm just guessing. I mean, I'll hold it up to the camera. Top. It's not corked. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be corked. corked. It should be. Nah. 
Uh, no, uh, actually, oh, you gotta go down. It's I don't care. <laughs> no, okay. I don't care enough to do it again. Um, no, it, uh, screw top is fine actually uh, yeah, because you can get there's a, a thing called corked. TCA and it damages the wine. Well, that's why they give you the cork to smell, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that's mm-hmm. why they give you a little swirl of the wine to smell. Yeah, uh, you're not supposed to really like drink a lot of it. It's not like here's just a sample of what you're gonna. It's right. so you can tell if the bottle's off, and that only happens with corks. With okay. lo- with uh, screw the tops, bottle. it isn't. Nice, interesting. All right, I actually uh, like it. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, so Fess Parker was born uh, August 16th, 1924, in Fort Worth, Texas. He enlisted in the Navy near the end of World War II because he wanted to be a pilot, <laughs> but at six feet six inches tall, he was turned down because wow. he was too tall. He wow. Fit in the uh, he, well, he was also too big to be a gunner, the person in the rear of the cockpit. So um, he was made a radio operator and was shipped to the South Pacific shortly before the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki ended the war. In 1946, he was discharged. Um, He began attending Hardin-Simmons on the GI Bill. Then he went to the University of Texas and eventually received his master's degree in drama from USC. Uh, Quick note, he was also once stabbed in the neck by another driver after a car crash. (laughs) Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Got in an argument with the other uh, driver, and the driver stabbed him in the neck. So uh, Parker began his show business uh, business career as an extra in the play Mr. Roberts, and he made $32 a week. Uh, shortly after being oh. in this play, he became <laughs> a contract player uh, with Warner Brothers and appeared, although in small roles, um, in Springfield Rifle, Island in the Sky, The Bounty Hunter, and Battle Cry. Uh, Parker was a struggling 29-year-old actor with rugged good looks and a Texas drawl when Walt Disney was looking for someone to play the lead in the three-part saga about Davy Crockett in 1954. The three-hour-long shows were scheduled to air during the premiere season of the weekly Disneyland TV show. Davy Crockett, Indian Fighter, aired on December 15, 1954, and turned Parker into an overnight sensation. Not only was he a sensation, but in the upcoming months, over 10 million coonskin caps, as well as the old Betsy wow. rifles, were sold. Jeez. <laughs> uh, the theme song, Davy, Davy Crockett, Davey. King of the Wild Frontier, <laughs> hit number one and stayed there for 13 weeks. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Parker starred in some other Disney films, uh, Old Yeller, The Great Locomotive, The Light in the Forest, and Westward Ho, The Wagons. Uh, but he wanted to star in more romantic comedies and was quoted as saying, Disney does not know how to deal with live human beings as performers. They're all about animation. So in 1958, he left Disney. Um, he was in a few small parts, and then in 1962, he starred as a junior congressman in the ABC series, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, but the series was canceled after 26 weeks. In 1963, however, he found himself rising to fame once again, but not because of what he was doing, but rather because of what Walt Disney was doing. Uh, Disney began to rerun the original three Davy Crockett films, and they were a huge hit once again. Parker, wanting to rekindle some of that fire, asked Disney to release the Davy Crockett name to him. Of course, they refused. Uh, He's quoted as saying, We were going to do it anyway because Crockett is public domain, but no one would insure us against the definite lawsuits that we would get from Disney. So instead, Parker started a new series about another famous frontiersman, Daniel Boone, which ran on NBC from 1964 to 1970. And Parker, being a little bit smarter this time, he owned 30% of the stake in the series. There you go. Wow. Yeah, it's a smart man. That a boy. That a boy. So he began um, in the early 1970s, began to uh, invest in real estate. Uh, he also invested in a mobile home park in Santa Barbara, where he was a longtime homeowner. There you go, Ter- there you go, uh, Bev. You can uh, get your double wide and Fess Parker's. Uh, there you go. Whatever. <laughs> Excellent. Um, so then, um, in the mid 1970s, he decided it was time to invest 100 percent of his time into business. Uh, he bought a 32 and a half acre um, prime waterfront property in Santa Barbara and opened Fess Parker's Red Lion Resort. Uh, in 1987, uh, he bought a 714-acre ranch in Los Ol- uh, Olivos in hopes to run cattle on the land. However, when they checked the soil, they saw that the soil was perfect for wine. The Fest Parker Winery and Vineyards had its inaugural harvest in 1989. Uh, as of present day, they've won over 30 medals for their wine. Wow. And, yeah. In 98, uh, they bought the landmark Grand Hotel in Los Olivos and turned it into Fest Parker's Wine, Country, Inn, and Spa. Frontier Red, the great American value. Yes. <laughs> uh, he was well, on- I found it. 
Yeah, I, I went to bed. I had to look it up. I went to Bevmo um, and was able to find it. They said they had 16 bottles there. No one there had ever heard of it before. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, he died March 18th, 2010. Hmm. Yeah. But uh, before he died in 2004, he was honored with a window in Frontierland. It oh, can that's be, good. Yeah, it can be found on the facade for Crockett and Russell Hat Company, and it reads, Davy Crockett, Coonskin Cap Supply Company, Fess Parker. Aw, that's nice. That is nice. How much was the bottle of wine? A whopping ten ninety nine. <laughs> it's yeah, it's good. not I bad. Like it. It's not bad. I'll tell you Sorry. what. It's I, not I, bad. I like Beefy Coastal better. Yeah. Uh, okay. Five ninety nine. I like Beefy Coastal better than like a BB. lot of wine. <laughs> yeah, yeah honestly. Beefy is not bad actually. That's true. Yeah. Oh man, I just read this. Uh, this not it's not really a news article, but it's a cool story about the Haunted Mansion. But I should probably save it for the next show. I'll save it. Okay. okay. I'll save it. We got to get out of here. Mm-hmm. It's like a hundred o'clock already. So. It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's an hour to my birthday. Actually, my clock stopped, so I don't know what time it is. It's uh, an hour and two minutes to your birthday. I don't think your clock stopped. It just doesn't. It changes every minute. No, <laughs> so. no, it literally it stopped. Yeah. It hasn't changed saying, in a while. What she yeah. was saying earlier, her clock is definitely ticking. I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, that's what you were saying. Uh, I'm sure it is. That's so uh, Here we go. Fact of the show. On Space Mountain, when the maximum number of trains are on the track, the operators have about 20 seconds to move each car through the station. If they fail to board a car within that time, the cars will get backed up in the station and the ride will be halted, resulting in the need to evacuate the attraction and fully cycle the cars through the attraction. Because of this, it's extremely rare that they run the maximum number of cars. So next time when a cast member is rushing you, there's probably a reason for it. Makes sense. I come like on, that. sir. Let's go. No, you can't wear your... Get all, come on. <laughs> Take your sunglasses off your head. Right. Listen to the things, everybody. All right. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the parks. Bye.